I am Dr. Neil Renaud, developmental optometrist, about to perform an infant eye exam. Make sure to check out our other videos by subscribing, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Let's get going. So I'm here with my son Roland, who is eight months old, and my wife Sarah. This will be Roland's first eye exam. And you might be wondering, he's so young, how are we gonna really figure anything out? How are we gonna see how he sees? Well, actually, I'll show you that infant eye exams are really simple, straightforward. He's not gonna answer any questions for me. He's just gonna have fun, and I'm gonna observe how his eyes work. We're gonna do this through Infant C, and you can check out infantc.org, and they actually offer, uh, providers who have joined Infant C, they offer free eye exams for anyone six to 12 months old. When you're born, you actually really have no visual skills. You can't see hardly anything. Uh, you don't really know how to look around or follow moving targets. You don't see in three dimensions. Over time, as you, as you learn how to walk and, and you learn how to talk and other skills, you also learn how to see. So I'm going to be looking for any visual issues as far as prescription, if his eyes work together, and, and how he uses his eyes to, to navigate and explore his world. Plus, I'll make sure his eyes are healthy today. Since he's not gonna be able to answer many questions for me, these are all going to be objective tests, which means I'm gonna watch and observe and take my own information and gather how I see he's seeing. Um, there's not, he's not gonna be able to answer what's better, one or two. He doesn't know how to tell me that but I can find generally what his prescription is, as well as how his eyes are functioning together and if there's any problems as far as pathology in his eyes. So we can start with general observations that I will make as well as some things that the parent can tell me. So the parent can tell me if their child is looking around the room, if the child will look at them, if they'll follow as, as the mother moves around, as the child follow, things like that. Uh, are they starting to reach and grasp for, th for things? Are they able to crawl towards targets that they want to get closer to? Those are observations we can make. Depending on the age, we can see different visual skills. So an infant will start developing their vision from near to far. The world starts very close and extends outward. So usually around three months of age is when a baby becomes, starts to become visually alert. Then they can start developing depth perception and fine motor, visual motor integration skills around four months of age when they can reach and grab objects. We usually see crawling around six months of age, beginning to walk around 10 to 12 months of age, and that especially is guided and aided by vision because we see the baby will see an object far away that they want to crawl to and to learn more and explore it in, into what they're seeing. So that's what that, those are. Once the child can start moving, those are the ages that they start extending the distance that they're looking and they're aware of out further in space than just arm's length away. So this little dinosaur, I mean, baby Roland was born at uh, at 37 weeks, slightly premature, born by C-section. He's eight months old now, so he's he has learned how to crawl really effectively. He's starting to hold and stand up, which is terrifying, but he's at that at that point in his development now where we do see him looking out far away. He can see across the room. He can look out the window and see cars and follow things around. Um, so that's kind of where he is developmentally with his vision. And now it's time to start testing, see how his eyes work and how healthy they are. I'm gonna start with visual acuity. He cannot read the letter chart for me but I can see if he looks at the more interesting pattern here. Looks at the stripes, so he sees great with both eyes. Now we're gonna try and see how he can see with, with one eye at a time. One significant thing is he didn't love having his, one of his eyes covered. It was about the same on each eye. If we see a baby is just fine like this, and then we cover the other eye and they start crying and screaming, this is where they, they don't like using this eye potentially and when we've taken away a better eye, then they really don't like that. In his case, he was about the same with either eye. He was really fidgety, but didn't show any negative reaction to covering one eye. Now let's check eye alignment. See if his eyes look like they're pretty straight, if they're pointing at the same spot. And some tests are gonna be challenging. We're not gonna get the greatest information sometimes. He's very intrigued with me covering his eye, which is disrupting the test a little bit. So I'm just gonna move on to another test, try something else. There are other ways for me to check his eye alignment and just confirm what I think so far. So I'm gonna shine a light into his eyes from about this far away and I'm looking at the reflexes like his eyes give back. They're perfectly centered, his eyes are straight. Now let's check his eye movements or his range of motion with his eye muscles. Make sure they're all working, there's no paralyzed muscles or anything where he can't get his eyes to certain locations. And we're gonna see if he can move his eyes over here. Good, he got all the way. Find it. 
found it. We're going up here, up here, down here, over here, straight up, straight down. Perfect. He's got normal eye muscles. He can get everywhere. Quick plug for having a dog in the office. Lincoln here is our therapy assistant. He's great to have in here to create a positive, fun, childlike atmosphere. There's no white coats or anything. Uh, an infant eye exam needs to be fun and just playing around. Now let's see if he can scan back and forth between two targets. Good. You can find them. His head moves a lot. He's not at an age where he can keep his head still yet. Now we're gonna see how well he can track a moving target. So there's lots of head movement. He had lots of lots of fixation losses. That's normal at this age. He has not mastered these abilities yet. He is just showing me that he's starting to pick it up. He's able to make the movements. Now I want to see how his eyes and his inner ears, his vestibular system work together. Perfect. In a little motion processing, can you follow the stripes? Back and forth, his eyes are moving. Let's try one eye at a time, I'm watching the eye that is not blocked, and they both track both directions. He has good motion processing in his eyes. Now, now let's see if he's starting to learn how to use both eyes together and converge or turn his eyes inward onto a target. Very good, so, okay, so that's two times I just saw. He's able to get both eyes in all the way up really close to his nose, about two inches away is where he kind of gave up and stopped looking at it. Um, that's totally normal. Now I'm going to see if he's using both eyes. So I've got him looking at these little pictures. Okay, so he didn't love that test very much, but every now and then I did, I was actually inducing double vision and seeing him scan up and down at two different targets. Let's check his pupils now, make sure those are healthy. I'd prefer if he'd look far. He's getting a little tired. Now I wanna, I wanna get a general idea what his prescription is. So we were just able to see up close as well as a little out further away that his eyes are pretty, pretty normal prescription wise. He's got, a small amount of astigmatism, he's a little bit farsighted, which is totally normal at this age. It also fluctuates a lot. He has not quite learned how to focus his eyes and know how far away something is. So when I'm watching his eyes, they're dynamically changing as he's trying to make his vision clear and find what he's looking at. So here's a tough one. Let's see if he has any stereopsis or depth perception yet. This is a card that can be pretty easy at, at for, for children. Might be too young for him, but we'll see. Uh, he is reaching and grabbing. Another way that we can check his, his general depth perception and gross motor integration with his vision is just by reaching and grabbing. So he's been munching on Cheerios. Good to bring some, tr some treats and uh, snacks to your exam to try to keep your, your baby having fun and engaged. So three for three in the right hand also could, could uh, be a sign of things to come when he chooses a dominant hand. But he's pretty accurate when he reaches and grabs. He can find what he's, what he's aiming for. Let's check peripheral vision. This is another tough one, but uh, one way I like to do is to stand behind the patient. And he, was, he reacted to the light on his right side as well. So we can tell to some degree he's got peripheral vision on his right and his left. Let's check his eye health. I have chosen to dilate his eyes. That was a decision that we made together. Dilation allows the, the most comprehensive health exam. Make sure there's no problems like any tumors or increased pressure inside of his brain that's pressing on his eyes. All kinds of scary things that I'll be able to see better while he's dilated. It's not very fun. He did not enjoy getting those, those uh, stinging eye drops in his eyes, but it is something that we felt was necessary to make sure that he's got healthy eyes and we know for sure. One of our last tests, I'm going to look inside his eyes, make sure that way out on the sides, make sure they're, that they're healthy, nothing abnormal is growing inside there. So we are all finished with our exam. I've seen that his eyes are healthy, they are straight, they uh, see clearly, they also don't have a large prescription I'm very concerned about. He's learning how to move his eyes and find targets, navigate through his world and explore which is all his life is about right now, is finding new things and exploring them. Um, there are some grains of salt in this exam. So he was he got very wiggly, kind of tired at the end, um, poor fixation, he wasn't looking where I wanted him to look all the time. There were some tests that I'm not super confident in, they were a little inconclusive. They, uh, I, I certainly could see him back for a follow-up visit to, to try again, see if I can find more conclusive answers, or just see him back sooner. The American Optometric Association recommends eye exams at, before one year of age before three years of age and right before first grade so it's great to get in for just at least those times and then we can always see him back sooner if necessary if we found any problems today or if there were any major uh, skills that I was not able to assess because sometimes you just got to call it and, and say this baby doesn't want to um, but overall we had a good time <laughs> But overall, we had a good time. Uh, we, we stayed pretty happy throughout the exam, except for the eye drop part it wasn't very fun. 
Uh, we learned a lot. I, I'm confident and happy with where his eyes are at. And I think he's about to re about ready to go home. So thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully this was helpful for you if you're wondering if your child's eyes are healthy and seeing clearly. Free eye exam between 6 and 12 months with the provider who's participating with infancy. So check that out.